In this video, I'm going to show you how to get to Koh Samet, one of my favorite islands in Thailand. So I've come down here in Rayong City, just outside of Bangkok. We're going to hop on a ferry here at the main ferry terminal in Rayong. Stay tuned to the end to check out this amazing island, and I'm going to show you as much as I can on how to get there, how much it costs, and what you'll see along the way. I've tagged all the locations in the chapters down below. Feel free to skip ahead to whatever interests you. So I'm walking into the main ferry terminal now, and I honestly don't really know where I'm going. There seem to be quite a number of different boat companies, and I know there's actually a couple of different piers as well. On the way in, there's a bunch of different guys trying to stop the car, like I think trying to get you to use their boat service. Generally speaking, when I'm traveling, I'm really scared of people who approach me. I like to do the approaching because usually people that approach you, they don't always have your best interests in mind. That's why I'm just walking into the main pier here to see if there's like a ticket office or something, but it's not really looking so good. By the way, it's my friend Jeremy. This is his first time in Asia. He's here from New York City. You'll see him in a couple of videos. Hey, bro. Yeah, we're going to Sunat. Ah, so my little ticket up here. Ticket over there? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. See, Thai people are so nice and helpful. That guy said the ticket office is just down here, so let's see. Oh, look, it says the way to Sunat. So if you guys watch my channel, you'll know I usually plan a bit more than this. I just realized this is my first time in years just like showing up without having tickets booked, not even really knowing where to book the tickets. Over here looks like some sort of a ticket office. So let's go see if they can help us out. It looks like a restaurant here also. Boat ticket. Okay, round trip 120 and what time? Oh, great, okay. Okay, so there's a boat in an hour, and then those are the return times. Great. Okay, so I think I know what's going on now. So this is probably like the um, cheapest boat, um, because I know there are speed boats also that probably are faster. The cost is only 120 baht per person, which is like less than four US dollars. So I bet you that the guys out on the street work for the speedboat companies which charge more and they're probably trying to pull you in to go on their speedboat which might not be the worst idea in the world but since i know a lot of you guys watching my channel are traveling on a budget i'm going to go ahead and take the cheapest boat just so you guys can see what it's like so i did just speak with the ticket booth and the woman said that a private speedboat is uh, in the range of 2,800 baht. Yeah, we'll try out the uh, public boat and see how it goes. We're so close, the island is just right over here. Okay, so we're hungry. There is a restaurant here, but I don't see anyone working it. So uh, we got a full hour to kill until the next boat. I think we're gonna walk out to the street and look for some food. So let's go. Jay, what do you wanna eat? I want Thai street food. Thai street food? Pork, rice, and some like sauce. Okay, walking back out to the street now. There is a bathroom here if you guys need it. It is located right over here. Okay, this is interesting. They have a tip box out here. I don't know if it's mandatory or not. My Thai viewers, uh, tell me what this says down in the comments below. I think is that like bathroom a bathroom or shower? Oh, bathroom or shower? That would be my guess. Oh, like suggested donation, maybe? I don't know. Either way, let's pay it because it's very reasonable. So that's a toilet in this one. And that's a shower. Yeah. So I drove here today because I do have a car here in Thailand and it was just easy. I will put a link down in the description about the bus service you can use to get here. I was able to park just right on the city street. There's plenty of parking around, but they also have parking here at the pier. How much for parking? 100 baht. 100 baht per day? One day? One day. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty good value, but I'm only staying one night, so I'm just going to keep my car on the street, see what happens. We're looking around for some food now. 
Oh, we got some Korean shabu over there. This place looks like Thai food. Let's see what they got. Oh, yeah, they got some meats and stuff here. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That looks really good, actually. Those guys got some soup going over there. It's like French meat. Got some pork going over there. Hello. Oh, hello. So I come. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Okay. We got soup. We got uh, the stewed pork leg is like really good. The chicken is more like Chinese style. It's really good. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be red pork with rice with crispy pork. 40 to 50 baht. Very affordable. Yeah, very affordable, right? Can I get this stewed pork leg? What? Number one? Two. Number two, okay. Pork leg. Can I try? Yeah. Jack, do it for? Ten foot. All right. From my garden. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. Very good. Yo guys, believe it or not, that's my first time trying jackfruit. <laughs> oh my god, it is so good. Yes, I've tried durian. Jackfruit confuses people. Sometimes they think they're the same thing, but uh, durian's the much stronger, almost fermented one. Jackfruit is so good, it's like... Um, Not too sweet. It sort of like has a little bit of banana, a little bit of pear. It's just like all these different fruits like blended together. Look, we even got a little free soup with it. Oh, red tea. Red tea? Thank you. All right, look at that. Japan. It's okay. Thank you. I'm nervous to drink the ice. Nah, nah, nah. Don't be nervous to drink the ice. It'll be fine. There we go. Look at that. That's the red pork. This is the. I, this is crispy and this is red. This is pork. Yeah. Oh. chef number one in Thailand. So, this is a very famous chef in Thailand, I guess. I mean, this food looks really good so far. I've, I've had this pork leg at a bunch of places. This one looks really nice. Yeah, very fresh. I think it's basil inside. Yeah, look at this, wow. I really, really wanted that pork. This looks spicy. Try this a little bit. Oh yeah, really nice chicken chicken stock. It's got a little piece of um, crispy fried pork floating around in there. Some ground pork in there. It's very fresh. Oh, really nice. Look at this bad boy. Oh yeah. Not too spicy. Sort of a vinegar and pepper based sauce. Quite good. Pig leg is really tender, as you would expect. Little egg there. What is that? Oh, it's spicy as fuck. <laughs> Damn. Eat that rice. Yeah, there's definitely some seed floating around in there. Oh, you ate the actual pepper? Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice one. Oh, I've had that before. It's like this sort of um, jalapeno-like pepper. Yeah. Uh, any of my Thai viewers, please correct me what type of pepper this is. Um, it's the one they sort of mix with like some soy sauce or vinegar or whatever. Really, really good. Really good portion here. Three for you. Oh, so nice. Uh, bless <laughs> Oh, and I gotta try this tea. Oh, it's like nutty. Yeah, really good. Highly recommend. I'm going to put a link in the description below if you want to come check this restaurant sometime. Great value. Good food. Okay. Food. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Hon. Hon? I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, yeah. I believe you. I believe yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Have a great day. All right. What a nice guy. This is a cool place. Look at this. They keep the pork warm out in the sun. 
That looks like the start of the process. No, it's not even cooked yet. So there's sort of like, it looks like they're starting it off that way yeah. and then they're gonna it's gotta be cook it. The... Like, that's what I call slow cooking, like <laughs> solar powered, leave it out there a couple days or whatever. So as you can see, it's right across the street. The pier is just right here. So it's literally like the closest restaurant. Uh, there's one over there too though. Let's try not to get hit and head over to the pier again. All right, sweet. They have a truck to take us down to the end of the pier. This looks slightly more treacherous than expected. We got life best. That's good. You definitely need to watch your step in here if you're tall like me. It's low. It's low. I think upstairs is better. A little more fresh air. There we go. Voila. My guess is about a 30 minute ride over. Say 15. You think 15? Okay, so 15 to 30. Let's uh, see how long it takes. Okay, so the game plan, once we hit the island, there will be people when we get off, I'm sure offering places to stay. On the booking platform I usually use, which is Agoda, you can take a look in my description below. I saw a number of properties on the cheaper end, like seven out of 10 rated guest house, single room, maybe like 14 or 15 USD all the way up to like there was a four star place i think in the neighborhood of like 50 or 70 dollars the first time i ever came to thailand i came to this little island Koh Samet, and i had no plans i was with 16 of us college kids and we just showed up on the beach and found a place for two dollars a night i'm curious because i have noticed in thailand sometimes you do get better deals if you just show up versus booking in advance so we're gonna see what happens when we get off the boat and see if we can find a better deal. If not, we're just gonna book online and walk over there anyways. The entire island is quite short. It only takes, according to Google, like two hours to walk the entire length of the island. There's plenty of accommodations. It's only Wednesday. We'll find something no matter what. Definitely ready. I haven't gone somewhere without knowing where I'm gonna stay. All right, so I checked my GPS. We are traveling at eight miles an hour. Uh, there are a number of different ports, both on the mainland and on the island, but there is one main large one where most of the development is on Koh Samet. It's on the east, northeast tip of the island. Let's see what's up at the front. All right, so actually that speedboat it's not that much faster. It's maybe twice the speed. And it looks pretty bumpy, to be honest, for a 120 baht round trip. This ferry's a pretty awesome deal. Okay, it's been 20 minutes so far, and we're getting very close to the north shore of the island. Before we get into the island, let's go talk about this statue right here. So it's got like by the face of like a mannish beast and then huge jugs and uh, fangs. So uh, any of my Thai viewers, I would love to know more about what this statue is all about. Please, please, please leave a comment down below. All right, let's go check out the island. So we've obviously got a ton of different boats here at the pier. There's a lot of speed boats as well. You can book different, you know, snorkeling tours and things like that around the island. But I'm just gonna walk in like a total idiot and look around until we find something we like. Hello. How many people? Two. Ooh, you can pay the ticket national park. Oh yeah, how much? Okay. 400. Inside, inside. 400? Okay. 200, 200. 200, okay. Hello. We pay here? Yeah. 
you keep tickets on the time, ticket for five days. Okay, five days? Thank you. Okay, so these tickets are 200 baht each. It's good for five days. You're supposed to keep it on you. I guess they might check. Not sure about that. Oh, nice. They have a Cafe Amazon right here. Of course, we've got 7-Eleven. This is a very, very small island, and they have motorbikes for rent, but I don't even know if we really need them for just one day. Oh, it's not going to be a lot of money, but it's not. that's not the issue. It's just whether we want to hassle with it or not. Yeah, so a motorbike is 250 for 24 hours or 100 for one hour. Six or seven USD. Yeah, so do it. definitely a good deal. So maybe do it just for the hell of it. Yeah. But we don't even know where we're going yet. So I think maybe we walk a little bit first. Yeah. Now, I just came back from some time in Indonesia, and I got to say, it's nice to be back in Thailand. When you get off of piers and places like this, there aren't too many people bothering you. When I was in Bali, man, you go to some of the piers there and you just get harassed by so many people. It's crazy. Looking like some very local food options. That's great. This is sort of the most developed part of the island. There's some bars here, some restaurants, but most of it looks pretty local. This is how they sell gasoline here. Yeah. That's the gas station. So if you guys haven't rented like a scooter in uh, Southeast Asia before, it's actually pretty common. I've seen that in Indonesia, Cambodia, Vietnam as well. There's quite a few different shops on the main street. There's everything from women's clothing, swimsuits, there's some beauty salons, lots of restaurants, a couple of bars. I've not seen a medical clinic yet. Do you guys know if there is a hospital or medical clinic on Cosumet? Please leave a comment down below. It would be helpful for everyone. Oh uh, yeah, this place looks cool. Maybe a little later on. This is the, yeah, this is the bar. Whoa, look at this, man. This is like fried plantains and stuff. Ooh. Oh, we got a liquor store across the street here and a place selling huge chickens. Quite a few coffee places. Oh, there's finally some men's clothing too. Oh, there's a police station. That's good to know. Oh, this is a cool looking place, Jay. Island bar. This is almost like a little food court with different options. Hello, hello. This is like a just a normal grocery store. If you're looking to really save some money, you want to cook for yourself. Another 7-Eleven, very important. Oh my God, wait, really? The, they've got a 7-Eleven here and a 7-Eleven there. Love it. All right, so now we're entering the National Park, I guess. Just inside the National Park is this cute little park area. If you're traveling with children, they have a bit of a playground over there. So finally, we are arriving at Sai Kiao Beach. Tell me how to pronounce it properly. Leave a comment down below. Uh, this is the beach that looks pretty big, sort of in the northeast part of the island. And it only took us about 10 minutes to walk here. Wow, the sand looks so white. Yeah. Just right off the bat, I mean, look at this sand. It is truly white sand beaches. So beautiful. It's a lot nicer than Bangkok. The heat is a lot less oppressive. You get a nice breeze over here. I first came to this beach about 20 years ago, and it's uh, pretty much how I remembered it. It's not too developed at all. There's businesses, of course, but there's, there's not like huge resorts or international hotel chains or anything weird like that. I mean, look at this water. We're trying to decide where to stay. And a lot of the cheapest places are sort of just off the beach between this beach and the main pier. But man, now that I'm out here on the beach, I'm uh, thinking maybe I want to stay closer. Yeah, let's just walk down a bit. Look at a little more of the beach here. This place looks really like a Burning Man, like uh, Bohemian style. It looks pretty cute. Okay, so we just walked by this 
Del Grand restaurant, which looks quite high end and nice. And I checked on Agoda. We can get a room here tonight for 40 USD. It's definitely not the cheapest you can get here, but we're right on this beach and it's a really nice looking place. We pulled the trigger on that. Let's go in and have a look. Yep, people in the kitchen, good sign. This looks like the lobby. Thank you very much, Cup and Cop. Welcome drink. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you, thank you. We're seeing a lot of bungalows. We're hoping we get to stay in one. Let's find out. So it's very old school, like wood paneled style. It's not particularly huge or like super fancy, but it's clean and there's plenty of room. It does have two beds. Sometimes when I booked on Agoda, I've gotten tricked to where I thought it had two beds, but it only had one. So this has actually two beds. Let's take a look around the room. Mini fridge there, which is stocked with some beers and Cokes and water. Electric kettle. TV. We've got air conditioning. Now, if you've stayed on this island before, you know that a lot of the really budget options don't have AC at all. That's a really nice touch. Got some storage over here, water, coffee, tea service, some fun local art. We've got over here some slippers, makeup mirror for the ladies. This bathroom is actually a lot bigger than expected. Got a good amount of counter space here. Got our hair dryer for the ladies, toilet, bum gun, nice big shower area here. Seems really clean overall. We got some good lighting. Look quite clean. Sheets are nice and soft. So the electrical looks on the older side, actually. It doesn't have the three prong. It has just a two prong. You know, the one thing about this room though, it's not the best if you need to work remotely uh, because there's no desk or anything like that. Uh, so minus one point for that. So we've got our Wi-Fi info over here. Let's get all connected up. Okay, so at least like 12 plus and also maybe 12-ish for upload. Not amazing, but considering we're on a freaking island, pretty fast. Here we've got our nice little uh, seating area. Plenty of place to relax and have a smoke or a drink out here. <sighs> All right, before we get to the beach, let's see what else we can um, find around the hotel. So what is this situation? It's water. Oh, it's for washing your feet. Yeah, okay. We'll use that when we get back. These are just all bungalows. I don't even know. I don't think there's a pool here, but that's fine because you got the beach. Yeah. Right after COVID, Thailand is still really struggling to recover. We may be some of the only guests here tonight, especially in the middle of the week. It's just not as packed as it was three years ago. So we've got this whole restaurant area up here. This is the D Grill. So of the places I saw, just like walking over here from the pier, this hotel definitely seems to have more amenities. These, um, you know, seating areas by the beach are quite nice compared to the other places. And we've even got a really nice pool table over here. Look at this. Pool, beach. Pool, beach. I mean, that's just awesome. We've got a nice espresso machine over there for tomorrow morning. They've got all these comfy bean bags here. And then we've got our bar over here. Got a few beers on tap. Hogarden, Budweiser, Chang. They got liquor. And <laughs> over there they call that the Elefante Cafe. Elefante? So some of these places, if you're not staying at the hotel, you can like pay a small amount, like 200 baht, to just sit in the beach area. Or if you buy some stuff, I bet there's going to be more stuff going on here at nighttime. Jeremy was saying that he wanted to try some roti, some local bread earlier. You know, I would love to know, guys, because I know there are a lot of 
Thai citizens of Indian descent. So you get a lot of great Indian food in and around Bangkok. Is there like roti that's truly Thai Thai though? Like old school? I haven't seen it. Anyways, this is the guy. Let's go check his cart out. You do roti? Yeah. Oh, roti pancake. Okay, cool. So we've got lots of banana options here. We've got egg, chocolate, cheese, lemon, sugar, honey. Egg and cashew nut. That sounds actually sort of cool. Yeah, I'll have the, the uh, banana and honey. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Wow, look at that. That looks really, really good. All right, try it out. Tell us how it is. Oh, it like breaks apart in your mouth. It's very thin. But because he folded it, it's like, has some chunk. Oh, man. Cooked banana, always delicious. Wow. Towards the north end of the beach here, there's like, seems to be more kids and families playing. This is rainy season in Thailand, but this island is known for being a little more dry than some other parts of the country. So it's a really good option to visit in, you know, September, October. Wow, this place is really gorgeous. I got some guys out here selling uh, fried chicken, looks like, or sorry if you need one. Sorry, my mistake, that's grilled chicken. It looks really nice. Uh, I, don't, I don't need a dress, brother. Thank you, though. All right, this looks like a pretty ratchet bar over here, man. This looks like where you come to have trouble tonight. There's like holes in the roof over there. But they still got booze. Tale bar. Going to have one now. All right, I guess we're having one now. Oh, they have a 100 baht happy hour. I wonder when that starts. Sorry, cop. Is it happy hour? Yeah, happy hour. Well, yes. Three o'clock to five o'clock. Yeah. All right, perfect timing. This is the uh, happy hour list over here. We got mojito, pina colada, sex on the beach, pink lady. I mean, these are like all the classics for sure. Could I have one Mai Tai, please? Yeah, Thank you. Help me out with the beer. So, I mean, I prefer Sing. Chang is usually the cheapest, followed closely by Leo. I would say Sing has the best flavor. San Mig is more like, I think Philippines or Hong Kong. But yeah, I mean, you should try Chang and Leo because you haven't tried them yet, right? So a Mai Tai and a Leo, please. Thank you. Yeah. A nice little like beer cozy. Yeah, That's cool. I've <laughs> seen some action, this beer cozy. Oh, bar seen some action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more ways than one, <laughs> I'm sure. When I was here 20 years ago, I remember going to a random, random bar on the beach, full buckets of Red Bull and vodka for five US dollars. And it got so wild by the end of the night, a full on Kung Fu fight, spinning kicks and people breaking chairs against each other. So someone fired a gun in the air and we all took off running. Try not to drink too much on this island. You never know what might happen. Jeremy, cheers. That is nice and strong and good. Wow. What do you think about the Leo? It's very tasty. Uh, it smelled like a Miller Lite when I first picked it up, but it tastes good. I, on the other hand, am not the biggest Leo fan, so it's Jeremy's nice. nicer than me. I can get drunk off this. You can get drunk off it? Yeah. Nice. This is cool. They're setting up all the tables for tonight. I kind of want to check out a bunch of places on this island, but I also kind of want to see what dinner is like here. One, one more. 
I can't. You have enough ice or no? There's no ice. What time for the ice? All right, then give me a sing, please. Jeremy finished that Leo pretty quick, and now he's got the Chang. What's the verdict, my friend? It's like a, kind of like Corona. Okay. But with a different, uh, like it would be really good with the wine. I think it's good. I'm not sure what, what color this is, but. Uh, All right, so overall, do you prefer the Leo or the Chang? I think I like the Leo. But the Leo. But I like the sing even more yesterday. Yeah. Cheers. That's awesome, look at this. Yeah, They're setting up the lights for tonight. Yes. You gotta dig the hole every day? <laughs> oh man, so strong. <laughs> yeah, these guys are dope. They like redo the lighting every single day. They gotta dig the hole and put the, <laughs> the lights in there. He's even got the kid in on the act with the bat. Hard working people over here. Yeah, buddy. Sing song every day. Oh, karaoke? Fire show. Okay. What time? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. fire show. All right, that was a nice start to happy hour. Time to see what else is on this beach. See you later. So this place is at the far north end of the beach. Out on the rocks there, there's some dudes fishing. So yeah, it's time to turn around and see what's at the south end of the beach. There's definitely a lot of activities available on this beach. Lots of jet skis and boats. There's also a very nice collection of pool toys. Plus all of these trips that you can book to different, uh, different parts of the island. So here are a couple of the prices. So you can do the jet ski, it looks like 30 minutes for 1500. The banana boat, you got sunset trip, all sorts of different trips you can take. It's all relatively affordable. So now that we're down at the south end of the beach, I wanna keep hiking here and see if we can get to the next little beach down. Okay, it looks like you can walk through though. This part of the island is called Koh Samet Beach. It's quite small and quite pretty. Yeah, this is nice too. Yeah, so this nice one is Avatara Resort. And now we're getting into what is called Jep beach. Definitely much more quiet. There's no vendors down here. Not a lot of uh, stores up on the road. So if you're looking for a, you know, quieter side of the island, it's still pretty close to a lot of the stuff. This is a pretty good area. It's getting a little tricky now. Let's uh, pop up to the road for a bit and see what that's like. This is the main road that's going down the east side of the island. I think it only takes less than 30 minutes to drive the entire island. Oh my God, they got 80 bot cocktails here, bro. <laughs> this probably looks really dope at nighttime to have all black light. Okay, good, so now we're back to the beach. Something about this island, they really like doing these really cool like lights with the fabric. I can't wait till tonight to see what it looks like. There's also a surprising number of pool tables, like outdoor pool tables in the tropics. I don't know how they survive. So this now is the Samed Villa Resort, which has a really nice piece of land here. All right, it looks like it just keeps on going. We've got a little walking path to the other beach now. So this beach appears to only have a Thai name. For all my Thai viewers, please let me know in the comments below. Is there a English name? I'll put a link to the location of this beach. So over here, you can see all the massage pricing. 350 for Thai massage, 
the aromatherapy, foot, head, shoulder, aloe vera is a little extra. I gotta say that's like extremely affordable. 20 years ago, I think it was $5 instead of $9. <laughs> so with inflation and everything, Cosmet still very affordable. Pretty much at the end of the beach, we're gonna head into the forest a little bit. I don't know where this trail ends. Okay, now these are some really cool, really primitive looking cabins. It's almost like camping, but you've sort of got a bit of a cabin. So I can't really tell if this is like a trail or this is a resort or bungalow. I don't really know whose land we're on right now. The beaches get a little more wild as you get further south. Oh wow though, look at this tiny little beach. Totally secluded with just a couple of bungalows on it. This beach is called Ao Nuan Beach and it's only like less than 100 meters long. What do you think? Made it. There's a sign over there that says, be quiet. Also, apparently they don't like people getting naked here. <laughs> no nudes allowed. This is about to get interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> we should have taken the road. Highly recommended. This is a pretty sketchy little path. But man, look at this water. Oh my God. According to Google, this is a road. <laughs> I'll let you guys decide. Is this a road? All right, so now we have arrived on Ao Chor Beach, and there is a place called Rastabar and a pier here. Yeah, this little guy. Hello. Jeremy, are you getting thirsty? I, I did want another beer, yeah. Wow, this is a cool spot right here. Happy hour? Oh, no. What, you guys got beers here? Yeah. You got beer? Yeah, thing or oh shit, they got, yeah. hey, they got weed too. Tool. So that's where you come for weed and mushrooms. This is cool. I also like the stand up here. That's nice. Hello, sir. Okay, so we've got two sings. How much is the sing, huh? Uh, 90 baht. 90, all right, cool. And a pre roll of marijuana is 200. We got our ashtray right there. Okay. They also had like a bag of flowers for 600. It looked like uh, two grams, one or two grams, something like that. Compared to the pricing I've been seeing in Bangkok lately, it's actually pretty reasonable, uh, but we need to try the quality. So again, YouTube, this is totally legal here in Thailand. I am not encouraging anybody to do this. I just want to see what it tastes like. After dark is when Koh Samet truly comes alive. We took a long walk down the beach, back to where we started. Colorful lights and food stalls lining every corner. The cool night breeze brought everyone out to enjoy dinner and the magnificent fire shows happening all up and down the beach. Tele Bar was just as cool as I thought it would be. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Leave a comment about your favorite beach, and I'll see you in the next one.